Okay, that is fake milk or fake cream and orange juice. Uh, attempt to make some orange sherbet. The maybe some sugar. I don't know if there's sugar in it out now, but the I'm saying it's fake because I didn't have anything but skim milk, and skim milk, of course, don't make good ice cream. So I added butter to it, and uh, actually looked up and found measurements. I made enough fake cream to make a cap a frappuccino too, and so I didn't measure it real good. But uh, anyway, let's uh, put it in the machine, turn the machine on, and I remember I made a mistake because you've got to have it out when you've got to have the machine turned on when you start all that stuff. So on, on, and put the thing in. Ramp it up, pick it, let's go ahead and go full container, you'll do a half container so you can do it later. And uh, since it's fake cream, it should be ice cream mode, it says it'll take two minutes. So we push the button and it starts. It's pretty loud. Um, container isn't as full as it could be because I the recipe I was trying to follow was for the regular creamy instead of the deluxe which the regular creamy just does a pint that time the deluxe does a pint and a half so oh the cats are running they don't like the noise Spinning. It may be spinning more than it should. Uh, I say the freezer for 24 hours, and that wasn't quite 24 hours. It looked like it was solidly frozen. We'll find out. Going all the way to the bottom, now it's got to raise it back up. It's got a funky blade on it, it's really not sharp. Uh, it's got four arms on it. Two of the arms are sort of blunt, and the other two have little prongs on them. Um, sorry for being off some of them. The blade just come up out of it. And it's done. Um, use a jerky to work here. Pull it out. Get all this stuff one handed. I'm not good at that. See how it looks. Okay, it looks powdery. Uh, they say that's common, and it could be because it's too cold or not have enough dairy in it or not enough sugar in it, a whole list of things. But they actually have a remedy, so we will do the remedy. We'll put it back on. Can't do this one handed. There we go. Put it back in. And that's what they call respin, which basically is just to. Uh, oh, I have it rotated. Right respin. Full. Respin. And there it goes. That should whip it back up a little bit.
it already. I think they say you can respin it two or three times. Uh, hopefully, one's enough. All right. Ooh, that looks good. Let's go around here where we can have a spin. Very good tasting. So, I think I'm gonna like it. Like I say, that was a very simple recipe. Just, uh, just, 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 just some um, milk or cream. Which uh, I only had skim milk, so I used uh, I put some butter in some milk and mixed it up good. And uh, orange juice and some sugar. And uh, got the recipe somewhere. I also have a couple more in the works here. I have that one that's frozen is uh, is what they call a cream uh, for a creamicino, which is their version of a frappuccino, which basically is a frozen coffee and milk, and uh, I add some more and sugar, and add some more coffee and blend it up good and mix a drink uh, like Starbucks has. I'm not sure when I'll be able to adventure that. I only had that's the two I froze last night. I went to the store today, so I got two more. One there in the front is uh, peaches in the Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk and the other back there is just chocolate milk um, so the hopefully both of those are supposed to work really well I will find out sometime later um, anyway I'll, I'll show how things go